Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Back to the Ballpark. Um, we are going to start this out a little differently this week. Um, first off, I'd like to thank you guys for watching in the first place. It's been really cool to interview these guys and get to know them and see how excited they are to play for the Wild Things this season, especially with them being from what, the Western PA area. Uh, it's very spe it's a very special thing, and I'm glad that we can get their stories out there. But on the more important things, uh, there's an individual in the Pirates, Wild Things, and Pittsburgh Twitter community who really needs our help right now. Um, his name's Jason Kaufman, also known as the Angry Fan to most of us on Twitter. Um, he has been diagnosed with advanced liver disease, and there's a GoFundMe up right now. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video and every video uh, for the rest of this series to try and raise money for him because he deserves it. He's a guy that anytime you met him at PNC Park, I'm sure he doesn't remember me, but I remember him. Uh, he's a great guy to talk to. Uh, it was just a good time. He's a really good guy. And whenever the COVID stuff happened and there was vaccination sites, he was on Twitter just he was up late like looking for vaccination sites trying to make sure no one was left in the dark so jason is someone who really deserves our help um because he's just he's brought so much happiness and smiles to us um so if we could help him in just the smallest way even if you can't donate um just try to share the share the link get the word out um if we could help jason out it, it would mean a lot to me i think it would mean a lot to everybody in our community because this is a guy that really deserves it um, so links is in the description and thank you so much, uh, for the support and let's go support Jason and get him happy and healthy again. Thanks. Your city, your podcast. Hello and welcome to back to the ballpark with the Washington wild things presented by back to the bird. Our third player profile is with a Newcastle native who was drafted to the MLB, not once, but twice, and now finds himself back home to play for the Washington Wild Things. Please welcome John Sansone. John, how's it going, man? Good, man. What's going on? Thanks for having me. Yeah, man, no problem. Can't wait to get to know you a little more and uh, let the fans get to know you before they come see you at the ballpark this summer. For sure, for sure. I'm excited about it. So I got to ask you, when did you start playing baseball? I think we all kind of started playing t-ball at an er early age, but like, when did you start to like get into the groove and think, okay, Maybe this is where my career is going. Maybe this is I can make a career out of this. Um, honestly, not till I was in like probably 13, 14, I started really liking baseball. Um, I loved all sports when I was little. My my first word was actually ball. So <laughs> that's awesome. I was I'd run to the to the fridge. My mom would always tell me and grab the eggs out of the fridge and scream ball and throw the eggs on the ground. Um, so that was she didn't like that, but um yeah, I, I love basketball. Was my uh, still is my one of my favorite sports. I love playing it still. Um, my dream when I was little was to play basketball for UNC. <laughs> Shouldn't say that now since I went to Florida State, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't let your peers know about that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to baseball, what was your first memory? Um, probably my first home run ever. It was my dad's fortieth birthday. Um, I was nine years old and I just remember after the game how happy my dad was and um, just had a picture they had cake for all of us and we have a picture it's framed in my room of us have I was holding the ball and or my dad was holding the ball and a piece of cake in his two hands and I was hold I was real chubby when I was little so I was more happy about the cake <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good memory to have though especially for your dad absolutely so now you were telling me before we started here, you're actually playing with a family member on the team, uh, John <laughs> Campagna or Campagna. Yeah. Uh, what's that like to share, share a locker room with him? Yeah, it was pretty cool, man. We played for the Sammies last year, even though it was kind of cut short. Yeah. Um, it was, it was a cool experience, man. I never thought that we'd play together just cause he's probably, I think four years, five years younger than me. Yeah. He's my um, age. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, um, He's a good player, man. He had a good college career, good high school career, and I'm excited to play a full season with him. Yeah, absolutely. And um, what was what was your first Wild Things memory? Did you go to a game? Was it playing for the team for the first time? No, yeah, I, I um, sorry, I had something happened to my thing. Yeah, I never, I never went to the um, I never been to a Wild Things game, but I'm sorry. I hope that didn't mess it up. 
No, oh. it's all right. We can just we can do the question again if you want to. Am I? Are you still? Are you still on me here? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, I don't know why. Something pop up. Yeah, something came up, and I don't know how to get back on it. Sorry about that, man. No worries. Can you still see me? Yeah. All right, cool. I can see you now. All right, cool. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries, dude. No worries. Um, so, yeah, what was your uh, first memory of the Washington Wild things? Was it going to the game or was it just being a part of the team? Yeah, just being a part of the team last year. Um, playing against the Wild things for the first time was pretty fun. There was a pretty decent crowd, um, even though COVID, with everything COVID last year was kind of stunk, but it was – it. It was better than nothing, man. It was uh, honestly, it was a blessing to be even to play last year. So, yeah, absolutely. And now, what all the guests that are going to be on this program are they've all played in the Whippeal. What's your favorite Whippeal baseball memory? Man, there's a lot. Um, definitely winning two champion Whippeal championships. Um, so that that was on the wild things field. Um, Man, it's it's hard to pick one. Probably my senior year winning the Whitfield Championship. Uh, played against Cal. Um, yeah, it's hard to think of one, man. I feel bad. I, it, I, we had so many good memories. Um, we had some good teams the four years I was there. Um, hey, that's, honestly, what ha- that's what happens when you're blessed with success, yeah, right? You I know, right? We came from a good school, man. It, I was, it was pretty, pretty cool to always be in, in the running for Whitfield championships. Probably my freshman year, honestly, we turned a double play. We should have turned a double play to win the game. And they threw the, something happened. It was an error and the, our first baseman got the ball and threw it home. And our catcher was this huge, nasty dude. And he tagged the guy and broke his leg somehow. So that was, oh, wow. Was, yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy to see that we ended up losing the game, but. That, that was probably my most memorable thing. I don't know why I always remember that. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, you ended up going and playing college ball, at, as you mentioned already, Florida State. What was that experience like? Man, it was the best four years of my life. Um, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, I had some tough, tough interactions with my coaches every once in a while. Just I didn't agree with some stuff, but I always tried to do what they wanted me to do so I could play every day. Um, and it was I was fortunate and blessed, man, to be able to play. I played every single game besides two and four years there. So it was um, like I say, even off the field, man, it was the best four years of my life. I uh, made some really good friends. I still talk to almost every day. Yeah. And as we mentioned prior to getting on the air here, you were drafted to the MLB not once, but twice. Yeah. Once yeah. before college and I assume after college as well. What was that like? Not everybody. I mean, there's a few, quite a few people who can say they've been drafted twice. Yeah. What's that? What's that experience like? Yeah, man. It was honestly, it was like the the coolest thing ever when I got drafted in high school. I was kind of upset because I was hoping to go a little higher. I don't mean to sound conceited or nothing, but I did. <laughs> I had some scouts at my house and at my. They would come to practices and just saying they wanted to draft me higher. Um, that didn't happen. Um, but I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So, um, I ended up going to school and had a good career there four years. And then, man, like I said, I met some great friends that I would have never had if I would have went where I wanted to go and out of high school. Yeah, absolutely. Now taking all that experience from, you know, you had the college experience and the pro experience. What from that are you going to bring into this season playing for the wild things? Um, honestly, man, the years that I tried to put too much pressure on myself are the worst years I had. Um, I'm going back to my senior year of high school or college and probably my first year and a half with the Reds, man. I just tried to have as much fun as possible. And those were the best years I had. So I'm not saying like have fun and not care, but I'm saying more, not worry about too much of the bad things. And I hope to bring that to even to the younger kids. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the greatest championship teams, you know, they'll tell you, didn't feel like we were going to work type of mentality. You just felt like you were having fun. Yeah. My, my favorite one, sorry to interrupt you again. My favorite one is um, when the Red Sox came back three, nothing for on the Yankees and the, um, the ALCS. 
and they said Johnny Damon was it was game seven and he was had his clothes off reading the newspaper in the in the locker room before the game like 20 minutes before the game was about to start so they were just relaxed and having fun just really just happy to be there yeah man that's that's how you got to be just have fun things will good things will come so now before we get out of here we agreed that we were going to play a little trivia i did some trivia with meeks on the last episode (laughs) let's see if you can do better than him he went one yeah i hope i hope man because i'm a big i love pittsburgh sports only thing is don't ask me nothing about hockey because i know nothing about hockey well unfortunately (laughs) you got two hockey questions on here we gotta gotta keep a little kid and mary lemieux What's that? <laughs> we got to keep a level playing field here, you know? All right. All right. <laughs> All right. First question. And this one, I think you should know. It's it's about Newcastle. Okay. In 2007, what Newcastle native led the Kansas Jayhawks football team to the first 12-win season in program history? Oh, it's easy. Bear Mangina. That's one of my dad's good buddies. There you go. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> You're one for one. Yeah. Already better than Beaker. <laughs> yeah. Question two. Who scored both Pittsburgh goals in the Penguins' 2-1 to one win over the Red Wings in Game 7 of the 2009 Stanley Cup Finals? I mean, if you don't get this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to say Sidney Crosby because that's the only dude. I... <laughs> oh, no. That, it was I Maxine told you, I don't... Talbot. It was yeah, Maxine I don't... Talbot. I don't... It's funny dude, that you sorry. say Crosby because yeah. Crosby got injured in that game. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say Malkin, but that's the only other dude. I don't even know who Talbot. I'm sorry, dude. I don't want to talk. Oh, Talbot, the classic shush. He shushed the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Third question. You're one for two. Third question. What Baylor punter spent his entire five-year NFL career, 2007 to 2011, as a member of the Steelers? <laughs> Man, I, that's the one person you don't know on the team is the punter. Right. The long snapper and the punter, you don't really know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Man, I know his name. It's not, I keep wanting to say Jordan Barry, but I think that was he was a couple years ago. Yeah, was, he was he was yeah. before Barry. It's Daniel Sepulveda. That's right, Sepulveda. I knew it was something dumb like that. All right. Well, hey, you're on track to uh, to tie Meeker here. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think this one's going to help you. It's another hockey question. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> All right. In 1992, what power forward did the Penguins acquire in a trade that sent Mark Recchi to the Flyers? And I'll be honest with you, I didn't know this either. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna say pass, man, because I don't know any hockey players. Hey, I don't blame you. I did. I don't know any Penguins history yeah. before 2008. I so I should. It was know. Rick Tockett. Okay, I, I've hey, heard man, of that name before. Yeah. So before we get out of here, what 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 should the fans expect from the Washington Wild things this coming season? Um, I think we're gonna bring a lot of energy. Um, we got a new coach in there, new manager. Um. I think he, him and Tony are putting together a good team, man. I think we're going to make some noise, make the playoff run, make a nice little championship run. Um, definitely we're going to play hard. And the team we had last year for the Sammies, man, we played hard every single day. Um, we're going to work hard. And if there was dirt on the field, we'd be dirty every field or every game. So there's no dirt, but so we won't be dirty, but. <laughs> it's we're definitely gonna be playing hard we're gonna have fun and hopefully we're allowed to interact with the fans this year yeah man hey there we go that's all we can ask for right absolutely absolutely all right well thank you for joining me uh and can't wait to see you play no doubt man yeah thank you it was good meeting you good talking to you and hope to see you down the road